Okay, so in our previous video, we had seen whether a particular application was in a running state or not. So we had used an Apache web server and we had used the uptime check to see whether that particular web server was running or not. Now the link to that particular video, I'll give in the description below as well as over here. So in this particular chapter, we'll do something else. So we have an instance running and we want to check whether the CPU of that particular instance crosses a particular threshold. Now let's see how we can do something like that. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a instance. So let's do that. So let's go to our compute engine and let's go to a VM instance. So I've already created a VM instance. So let's log into this VM instance. So let's SSH into it. So to see the CPU utilization of this particular machine. So all that you need to do is you need to run the top command and you can see that currently the CPU utilization is very less. So what we'll do is we need to increase the CPU utilization. So, so here I have a Stack Overflow page and this particular page, the link to this particular page, I'll give in the description below. So here you can use a few commands to increase the CPU utilization. So I'll be using this particular command to increase the CPU utilization of my machine. So let me just copy this and let's paste it over there. So let's exit out of this. Clear screen. And let's run this particular command. And now if I do a top, hopefully the CPU utilization of this machine should have increased. And you can see that it has gone up to 93% and it's gone up to 100%. So now the next thing that I need to do is I need to run an alerting policy so that whenever my CPU crosses a particular threshold, it should send an alert to a user. So let's do that. So let's go back to our console again and let's go to alerting. So this is again part of the monitoring. Of course, you can go to your hamburger menu and you will find alerting underneath your monitoring section. So let's go to your monitoring and let's click on alerting. So currently there are no policies. So let's create an alerting policy. Let's click on create policy. And here what you need to do is you need to select the appropriate metric. So let's click on select metric. And we need to select a metric based on the VM instance. Now, of course, you can have alerting policies for other services as well. Now, for this particular chapter, we'll just go for a VM instance. And here you can go to your instance and within your instance, you can click on CPU utilization and click on apply. And here to get a more appropriate or more accurate data point, what you can do is you can actually lower your time. So let's just make this as one. And here you can see a more appropriate graph. So here it shows when this particular CPU utilization touches around 90%. So here we'll select this particular data point of one minute and we will select the CPU utilization. So let's go to next. So here what we need to choose is when you need to apply your particular trigger. So anytime the time series violates above a particular threshold. So here you need to choose the percentage. So let's choose the percentage as let's say around 80%. So whenever the CPU utilization goes above 80%, uh, trigger will be sent. So that's about it. Let's go to next. So here you need to select the notification. So again, I've already created a notification in my previous chapter. So I'll be using the same notification. So, okay, so now let me show you how the notification channel looks like. So let's open this in a new tab. So here are all the notification channels that are currently available to you. You can either send a Slack, a webhook, an email, an SMS, or you can send a PubSub. So what I have done is I have sent an email to this particular. So whenever my trigger is set, it will send an email to this particular email ID. Okay, so once this is done, let's go back to our uh, configure notification and let's choose this email that I have previously configured. And that's about it. Now, of course, you can also have other optional fields as well, but that's not important for this chapter. So let's just call this as my VM alert and let's create a policy. And let's wait for the trigger to be set and an email to be sent to that particular email ID. So let's just wait for a minute. And once you go back to your alerting page, you can see that there is an incident that has taken place. That's because the CPU utilization crossed the 80% threshold. So now let's see whether we've received our email. So let's go back to our email ID. And here you can see that the CPU utilization has crossed the 80% threshold. So the value is currently 90.90, whereas the CPU utilization threshold we had set was 0.8 or 80%. So that's it for this lecture. So in this lecture, you learned how you can set alerts for a particular VM instance based on our CPU utilization. So I hope this was a useful lecture. If you have any issues with any of the other matrix related to alerting, please get in touch with me. That's about it for this lecture. I will see you in the next.